doing some testing on the BK970 radio analyst. <laughs> Hi, good afternoon, YouTube. Here with you on a Tuesday. I had to think about that. Afternoon, about 2.58 now, it looks like. And I am looking at the uh, BK970 radio analyst schematic, specifically the power supply section. And I have decided, <clears throat> now that the uh, Philco has been recapped, I'm going to take a little break from that, and uh, I'm going to start on this. Not, uh, uh, I'm not going to uh, do a lot to it, but basically what I want to do is test the um, transformer and see just uh, basically um, what works, what doesn't work, things like that. Uh, the report on this, as far as what worked and what didn't work, is that the uh, this part of the power supply did not work. It, in other words, it didn't it didn't have any voltages coming out of here out of the DC out. So um, I found a fuse that was blown. You may recall my video on that. I'm thinking it was this fuse right here, and I've made my uh, mouse cursor a little bit bigger. <laughs> So you can see it, but uh, I think this is that 5 amp fuse. Now this does all the DC voltages, um, is fused at 5 amps, and uh, that's the way that works. Now this is blown, uh, I think it is. We're going to double check, make sure, but it's either this one or this one over here, which is the uh, 3 amp fuse for the, for the whole uh, uh, unit. So if, if this one is blown, then, uh, you know, there's a chance that this might be bad. Uh, but if it's this one that's blown, more than likely there was a short somewhere here uh, in the output, and it caused the fuse to blow. Now, that's going to that's gonna be my whole uh, basis for testing this. If that is, in fact, the 5 amp fuse that's blown, I'm going to leave it out of the circuit. And we're going to plug it in because basically this uh, entire um, DC output here is is uh, you know in other words if this this fuse here is okay that means that most of the other stuff is okay and uh, that the only problem is right here in this section here so if that's the fact and then we can go ahead and like I said plug it in without this fuse in here we got we take all this stuff out of the circuit that way. And that does, that just leaves this 20,000 ohm, 20,000 ohm, 20,000 microfarad capacitor here between be uh, <laughs> across the line, and this big choke. Now I think this is that choke that I thought was a transformer. It has been pointed out to me that it is a choke, and I'm pretty sure that's probably it. Uh, it's a huge one, and so uh, anyway, that should, like I said, uh, the only other thing that could be wrong is this these these might be wrong or these might be shorted but again if these are shorted this fuse here should blow so that's uh, that's what I'm saying if this fuse is good then I feel comfortable just leaving this one out of the circuit and testing the uh, voltages here on the uh, DC side you see the red dot there and the uh, the negative on the uh, straight to the line here is where we'll test but uh, like I said, if that's the case, then uh, you know we can go ahead and test the voltages on on this one here, and if they are good, then the, the probably again what has happened is that the uh, you know short the uh, output was shorted over here and caused this to blow, and of course that would obviously render the power supply useless with no output, so that might be the whole crux of the matter. And that is what we're going to do, and we're going to determine first what the uh, fuse is blown, and we're going to go from there. So join me back in the workshop, and we'll look at this thing and see what we can see. Ah, back with you again here back in the workshop now, as promised. And uh, what we're looking at is the uh, chassis for the 970. Um, had some uh, additional uh, documentation uh, sent to me by a uh, viewer, uh, Major Tom, and uh, appreciate that very much. 
One of the uh, items that he sent was a manual for version 1, 2, and... I can't even get my other finger up here. 3. <laughs> um, according to what I have read so far, this is version 3. Mainly because of this here. Um, they didn't start using this uh, particular uh, bridge rectifier until version 3. Um, but there's some other conflicting things that would, would suggest that this is maybe between version 2 and 3 uh, because of, of one of the other things I, I saw on there that uh, didn't quite match the version 3. So, but anyway, uh, if we look at the manual for, I think all these are the same, I think I looked at every one of the pictures, all of these say that this is the F2 fuse and this is the F1 fuse. Now, that's uh, pertinent because of this. If we look at this, this is actually the one that's blown. I think you can see that clearly from even back there where you're at. Now, the problem with it, that's a very loose fuse in there, number one. I don't think that's the problem, but still. The problem with is if you look at it close, and I don't know how much you're seeing of that. I don't know how close I can get of that. But that's the wrong end for one thing. Yeah, it's the wrong end. This end, okay, it's up this way. I'll get it eventually. Uh, this end says 250 volts and it says 3 amps. I don't know if you can see that but that's what it says. Now this is not supposed to be the 3 amp fuse. This is supposed to be the 3 amp fuse. So let's take this one out and see what it is. Now if this is also 3 amp then I'm going to assume that someone put the wrong uh, amperage fuse in that. And I'm thinking this is probably the right one because it's a smaller fuse. Uh, in other words, it wouldn't fit there, so. I don't know if I can get that apart or not. I'm sure it comes apart. There it is. All right. See if I can see anything on this. All right, again, very, very difficult to see, but I did was able to read it under the magnification lamp. It says bus SFFSFE, I think, uh, seven and a half. And that's not right either, but it is the right size. Maybe that's the reason somebody stuck it in there. I don't know. But at any rate, I think this one is good. I'm going to double check that. This one is good. So... Obviously, the other one's blown. We can see that in the, like I say, in the camera. You don't even have to look through the magnification lamp. You can see it very obviously. So, I guess what we're looking at here is two new fuses I need. Um, so I'm going to guess that this, because because this this one doesn't even won't even fit in that one because of the the way it's constructed. Uh, the only place it'll fit is there, so uh, I'm going to guess. Unless that's just like a, uh, I don't know. It, it's definitely on, on, fastened onto that, so I don't know that it's, uh, you know, I, I'm going to say that's probably, you know, the way it's supposed to be. Uh, just a different size. So I'm going to assume then that uh, whoever had this last or whatever it was done put the wrong size fuse in here now that obviously won't hurt anything in this case it just limits the capabilities of the uh, unit to uh, basically uh, only three amps instead of the five amps it's rated at so you know that's the difference there um, so I don't think like I said that is gonna gonna matter any on that um, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to double check this. You know, I, I look at that and I, I can't really see a break in it. I see the two little bald end, ends on it where it's, it's balled up there. It looks like it's broke. Yeah, it is broke. Oh, no, it isn't. Okie dokie. All right, this uh, fuse is also good. Uh, uh, you know, multimeters don't really lie. It's uh, saying 0.3 amps or 0.3 ohms uh, and that's how I'm, I'm basically doing it right there 
So <laughs> that is weird, but that fuse is not blown. So interesting, very interesting. Um, <laughs> so uh, basically, I've got the wrong size fuse in here, but it's three amp, and like I said, it should work okay. But I'm gonna leave that out. Um, there was a problem uh, I was told with the uh, output. So what we're gonna do is put this one back in. We know it does. It's good too. And I think what we'll do is plug it in and see what we get. With this fuse out, I should get no uh, output as far as the what do you call it's concerned. I, sh I should be able to read the uh, the voltages though, just like you would in any other time uh, between here and there. So. Um, guessing on here, let's go take a little closer look at this. Uh, I don't see a red, now there's a red dot right there. So that's, that's me, that's me. That's uh, the positive and that's the negative over here. These two are the, uh, obviously from the transformer, AC. So we can check that. Let's do, let's do this on the Variac. How about that? That, might, that would be even better. Let me set up my, um, my new probes and uh, get this uh, set up to where we can get some idea of what what the what's the dealio so we'll be right back all right we are back I have the uh, leads connected here on the um, uh, bridge rectifier the red one goes to the positive the black one's going to the uh, negative the uh, only thing in circuit is really other than the transformer is this here and we are measuring 0.49 volts with the unit off and the, the variac turned all the way down. So uh, I'm going to say that <laughs> that capacitor is storing a charge. <laughs> uh, that's just my opinion. But uh, all right, what we're going to do is uh, turn the volt or turn the uh, unit on, and we're going to take some voltage up. See if we get any kind of uh, action out of our all right, I'm up to 40 volts. I have 5.34, or no, I'm sorry, 0.543. So it is actually going up. Let's go up a higher a bit there and see what happens. I don't think it's going to blow a fuse. It didn't blow that 3-amp three, three fuse already. There's about 60. Up to 1.17. We are on the 1.5 setting. So that's what we should end up with about 1.5. So let's go up to about 90. And as uh, Larry said in his uh, video, this is uh, oh <laughs> that fan kicks on my heater, it scared the crap out of me. I thought something was going on. All right, go back up to 90. I think we're up to uh, let's see, 90 volts. I think we're up to. Uh, I don't know if you guys can even see that. I guess you can see that. We're up to 2.3 volts now on the DC uh, on the 1.5 volt setting. So, like I said, Larry Larry was talking about his is, is uh, actually rated at 117. This one is also. Uh, I'm just guessing that was the uh, the voltage at that time. Uh, that this was out. Um, that's probably a good, good, uh, good example of it. So uh, let's go up to uh, the rated voltage, 117. And there, we just passed it. And went past it a little bit. There we go, 117.3. Now that's that's showing us 3.2 on the uh, output. Let's go up another notch and see. All right, there's our. Our second one, which is 3 volts, and that's measuring 5.4 volts. And let's go up to the 4.5 setting. And that is measuring 7.67, close to it. So we're still on our rated voltage. Go on up. 6. 6 volts gives us 9. Point, well, now it's up to 10. So we're up a little high on that. 
quite a bit high as a matter of fact. So now these are unloaded voltages. I pointed out that to Larry. Uh, really, you can't uh, judge by it too much. It's always going to be a little higher. This is not a regulated power supply. So, you know, it's, it's going to be a little bit higher. Uh, it should be anyway. Get some of these leaves out from underneath the thing. So 10.4 is where it's settled in at on the uh, 6 volt. Now there's, on this particular model, there's a 6 volt setting and there's a 6 volt auto. I'm assuming they said that's a calibrated and that may be a... Um, now that one's saying, I think it's just a higher amperage or something because it's going up to 12.6 12 12 right now. Still going up a little bit. So, 12.7. So anyway, I'm going to say that's uh, that's just a higher amperage, I'd say. Um, you know, so up to the 9 setting, we're up to 14.789. So quite a bit higher than uh, 9 volts. Uh, 15 volts now. So, like I said, I, I think there's uh, some kind of, pro you know, uh, the, that was the complaint with this, was the problem with the uh, DC power supply. Let's go up to uh, 10.5. That gives us uh, over 17 now. And go on up to the 12 volt setting gives us 19. I'm going to have to change my meter because I've got it on the 20 volt range. So that's 19.5. Uh, let me change my meter. Go on up one more. Now this is the uh, auto setting for 12 volts. It's up to 21 volts. So there, there's uh, obviously the uh, what do you call it is working. Now this is uh, I can't even see it. This is the 15 volt. This is as high as this goes. 15 volts, and that's up to 24 volts now. So uh, obviously there is a little problem with it, but it's not uh, for lack of <laughs> lack of voltage. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what this does measure uh, when it's uh, loaded with a radio or whatever and see but uh, so far uh, I'm, I'm gonna gonna say that the transformer is at least good uh, not getting hot at all it's nice and cool so that part of it seems to be working um, I was just gonna play around with some other stuff in here too but I really don't see anything else I could do the meter itself is Is, is varying but it's uh, the needle is jumping uh, I don't know what that means if it means anything but anyway it does seem to be working somewhat so like I say it's on to still on the uh, 15 now it's on 24.6 now it's went up to um, so I'm going to shut this down. Let's actually just take it up to 20 or 120 just to see. There's 120. That's uh, a little bit over. There we go. 25 volts. It's not that much difference. So, you know, between 117 and 120, it's really not that much different. So. I don't think you'd have a problem with yours, Larry, at all. So, but anyway, that's uh, what we're looking at. I, I I I see now that it's probably a good thing as far as uh, you know, um, for me. In, in other words, at least it shows that the uh, transformer is good, and it's one of these multi taps. I don't know if I, did I show you that very very closely at all, but this is one of those multi tap. Uh, transformers like used in uh, tube testers and things like that and uh, you know that something like that would be hard to find especially rated at 5 amps for all across the board 
but the way this works and if you you've, may have seen it in the uh, schematic but the uh, all the voltage taps are here and they come off of there and the switch uh, regulates those and they that by the way that switch appears to be working just fine and uh, so and that's what uh, goes over to the regulator then or not the regulator but the uh, rectifier and uh, it they all go through the same rectifier and are rectified into DC much the same as my uh, double DC power supply over there does the same thing all goes through the same rectifier and filtering so uh, like I said I, I'm gonna I'm gonna shut this off and I'm gonna watch the voltage go down and it probably won't go down very fast but knowing how that was working very very slowly all right, there's the uh, variac completely off. I've still got 25.1 volts on showing on the multimeter, so obviously that does not uh, bleed off very fast. So we'll have to keep that in mind uh, when using this. Obviously, if we put something across the uh, the line, or the uh, output, it would probably bleed off pretty quick, but. Uh, down to 24.9 now it's bleeding off very slow so anyway that was what I'm here for today is uh, basically to find out if this is worth uh, fooling with and it seems to be uh, like I said this uh, makes makes all the difference in the world if this is good and we can get some fuses ordered the correct ones this time and uh, go ahead and unplug that All right, gonna gonna finish this up. Gonna put this up on the interwebs. So have you guys have a look at it. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful evening. It's 4:46 here now. It's about time for me to go in search of supper. And <laughs> I don't know what I'm having, but I think this is my usually my night to uh, eat out because it's the night before I get paid, and uh, I like to do that. So, because I'm usually right down at the bottom of my um, food supply, I have. Uh, I think some banquet dinners in there. I think there's three of those in there, and probably some other stuff as well. I know I have tuna for tuna sandwiches, but uh, I think I'm going to eat out. So, you guys have a wonderful evening. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see ya.